Hello and welcome to Nine Inch Charge, a Warhammer Age of Sigma and Warhammer The Old World discussion channel, and welcome to my Living Cities Army Showcase. This is an army that I've been collecting over many, many years. Um, it includes models that I had all the way back in my childhood, in my school days, and also includes models that I've bought fairly recently. Um, it's been quite a passion project of mine for a long time, and as you can see, it's mainly Wanderers focused, uh, with one or two additions. I've got some Gyran Guard that you can see at the back. Um, you know, Stormcast Internals Wizard. And a few other twists and turns along the way. A Jaro Bomber isn't the first unit that springs to mind when you think of living cities. So I thought it'd be quite fun to model him stuck in a tree. The smoke is just some milliput around a paper clip. And it's textured with some flock and then dry brushed up to look a bit smoky. And the green is warp lightning contrast over silver. All in all, I was quite happy with how this turned out. I feel that it kind of fits the theme of the army and it's a model that I enjoy including. Next up, these are my Shadow Warriors and I've used 5th edition Way Watchers for these because these are the models that really drew me to my old army, the Wood Elves, in the first place. And they're a unit that I've used all the way through um, my time gaming and they're just a unit that I absolutely adore. So I'm gonna try and include them in as many projects as I can, and long may they continue to stay in my army. The Eternal Guard are steadfast warriors of renown. Uh, they are the core of my army. I always play them up through the middle. They always do a cracking job for me, and I love the models. There's another little nod to Warhammer 5th edition there on the banner. I managed to get hold of some Wood Elf 5th edition transfers and put one on the banner of those guys. Just to the left of them there is an old War Dancer hero that I've been using as an assassin, just because I think he fits the Wanderer theme a bit more, and also a good model is a good model is a good model. My Sisters of the Thorn include my first ever attempt at freehand. I followed the guide for the Living Cities emblem from the book in the Cities of Sigmar. The Lord Arcanum is painted to the same colour scheme as the Gyro Bomber, using exactly the same technique with the contrast over the silver, and he comes with two endless spells. The custom Everblaze Comet is made with the Wood Elf Waystone from the Saigor kit from Beasts of Chaos, and a Griff Hound for fun. The main centerpiece for my army is the Frostheart Phoenix with the Anointed on top. The Anointed is a Wild Rider converted and as you can see I converted the base for the Phoenix so that it is on one of the old wildwood trees and there's a few little rocks and branches and creatures lurking around as well. My battle mage is from the realm of life. She's a 6th edition Wood Elf spell singer and she uses the lion from Skate's Wild Hunt as a familiar. My Wildwood Rangers are one of my favourite units in the game. They just look phenomenal. I love the massive glaives, I love the lore behind them. Again, they also carry a 5th edition standard. The Sisters of the Watch here are a bit of a kit bash. I've used the heads of my old Glade Guard um, to go on them just because I think it makes them look a bit more Wood Elf. The old heads are fine, but they do look very High Elfish and didn't quite fit the theme. The hero here has the head of a Wildwood Ranger. And it's nice to have a bit of a nod to Glade Guard, a unit that I do really miss, to be honest. The Wild Riders are all contrast and were painted up in one night for an event that I went to. I was quite happy with the look. The skin is a thematic blue and I think it makes them look a bit ethereal and ghostly. My custom hero from the Anvil of Apotheosis is a 3D printed model that I bought off Etsy. Um, I used them for an event. They're really fun to use. Uh, they're soon going to be replaced however by Dryka, so watch this space as I paint her up. The Fulminators are really the workhorse of the army. They're the damage dealers and the heroes that take all the glory. They're painted the same as the Jaro Bomber. That's Warp Lightning Contrast over Silver. 
The army as a whole has a lot of small units and infantry units and the massive dominating presence of these really helps the army's aesthetic, gives them a bit of a bit of height and a bit of something different. My Aether Wings are great for a little bit of sneaky movement shenanigans. I painted them just as normal eagles that kind of hark back to the great eagles and the Warhawk Riders of old. Um, I know they're not quite as fantastical as other things in the Mortal Realms, but it's how I like them. And there we have it. That's the majority of my Living City's army as it stands. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it. I know I really enjoy looking at other people's armies and conversions and things that they've done. I am hoping to do some battle reports with this army in the future, so watch this space coming up. Uh, probably about a month away, I've got to prepare the table and things like that. I'd love to see your armies as well, especially if you've got a unit or two that you're particularly proud of, um, some great conversions or just a really nice paint job, something that, that really is important to you and has been for a while. Uh, let me know on socials, at 9 Inch Charge on Twitter or Instagram. Um, thank you very much for watching. This has been 9 Inch Charge and... Please drop this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe.